stars, prove that Earth is stationary. When I post about that, people respond with, but stars are far away. So I thought, maybe, if I break it down step by step, the proof will become clear. Step 1. If Earth were orbiting the Sun, it would be on the opposite side of the Sun in summer compared to winter. The Earth would be at opposite sides of the Sun in summer compared to winter. If it takes one year to orbit the Sun, every six months, Earth would be on the opposite side of the Sun from where it was before. Step 2. In the heliocentric model, we face away from the Sun at night. So at night, when we see the stars, we're facing away from the Sun. In Step 3. The stars we see in summer, would be completely different, than the stars we see in winter. Completely different. Because we're facing the opposite direction than we were before. The stars would not just be a little bit different, but completely different. 100% different. As in, none of the stars we saw in winter, could we see in summer. A totally different night sky. Illustration. It's like a man standing in a room with a window on one wall, and a door on the other. The window and the door are on opposite sides. When the man faces the window, he can't see the door. When he faces the door, he can't see the window. In winter, we see the Big Dipper, so we shouldn't be able to see it in summer. Because we're facing the opposite direction. But we do see it. All year. Summer spring, winter and fall. So we're not orbiting the sun. Answering common objections 1. But the stars do change. Yes, we have seasonal constellations like Orion. The stars move according to a pattern. But year-round constellations like the Big Dipper, would be impossible if Earth were orbiting the sun. As we moved around the sun, and through space, we would lose alignment with the North Star and lose sight of the Big Dipper. But we never do. The Big Dipper is always visible, proving that we are not orbiting the Sun or moving through space. And stars never change 100% from one season to another. There are always some stars that are visible year-round. Answering Common Objections 2. We only see the Big Dipper from the Northern Hemisphere, because it's close to the North Pole. That's not true. The Big Dipper is visible from the equator, and as far south as northern Australia. It is not just visible from the north. Answering Common Objections 3. But stars are really far away. First, this is based on assumptions, and can't be proven. Second, even if this were true, we could not see stars that are directly behind us no matter how far away they are. No one knows how far away the stars are. Saying, they are trillions of miles away, is just indoctrination. How do you know it's true? Illustration. It's like a man facing north. His friend wants him to see a flag that's directly behind him, to the south. But the man can't see it, no matter how far away it is. By Globehead's logic, if the friend just keeps moving the flag, further and further and further away, the man will eventually be able to see it. Globe defenders think, if something is very far away, even if it's directly behind you, you would be able to see it. Another illustration. You're standing on the 50-yard line, facing the giant sand zone. You can't see the jet sand zone. It's directly behind you. Glober logic says if you just keep moving the jet sand zone, further and further away, say a trillion miles, you would be able to see it. Standing in the center of the field and facing the giant sand zone, you can't see the jet sand zone. Answering Common Objections 4. But the stars are orbiting through space too. For this objection to make partial sense, the stars would have to be rotating around the Sun. The Sun would have to be the center of our galaxy. According to the Helium model, 
the Sun is not the center of our galaxy. The center of our galaxy, they say, is a black hole. The priests of scientism, put a black hole in the center of our galaxy, casting a spell to crush our spirits. Isn't that comforting, a black hole in the center of it all? It's a typical Jesuit spell, designed to crush your spirit. I hope this clarifies how stars prove Earth doesn't move. I've been posting about this since 2017, and receiving the same responses from flat Earth skeptics. So I hope this brings a little more clarity. In summary, if we were orbiting the Sun, we would see a completely different night sky every six months. Since we don't, we know we are not orbiting the Sun.